Hey everyone, this is Eric with VPAstring.com coming at you with another video. And this video is called How to Use Excel VBA to Loop Through a Range and Copy the Values that You Find Conditionally. And I'm going to show you the, the conditional values. Uh, really on the top here, we're taking these dates on the senior screen from start date to end date anything between these two days we're copying them to the July worksheet so anyway if you get value from this video make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell because I try to upload videos on a weekly basis or more frequently if I can and if you like the video, make sure you click the like button. We'd like to get this video to five likes. Without any further ado, oh wait, make sure you ask, if you have some specific questions, go ahead and ask them below. I'll be happy to happy to look at them and uh, answer them. Um, here we have a list of particular banking transactions and we have uh, and this is on my the code is on my blog at uh, vbastring.com you can go there I'm mean, gonna also put a put a link down there in the description box so we have date all the other good stuff about uh, about a bank bank account and Anyway, I froze the top row in case you're interested. Um, view, freeze panes, and then freeze top row. In case you don't know how to do that. And these are all big counts, big transactions for 2016, but don't, don't worry about it. Um, we have here July, August, September, October. All this good stuff, but we don't want that. Bosses, we just want a quick way of going through here, and uh, of course you could use auto filter and filter filter your range just dates between uh, all the data between two dates. So, but we we're not going to do that. We're using VBA to to do this as well um in this in this example so we have a start date between the date and the end date and when we process the sheet we click the button process bang okay so now we should see in the july sheet we copied all the information over here anything between those two dates we copied and i'm going to go ahead and delete that just to just show you again uh, let's see yeah the, okay bang it's done so you see uh, it it automates it automates your code automates the looping through that worksheet and just picks out and copies certain pieces of information certain line items to the other worksheet so we're copying to another another sheet. Now where is the code for this? Okay, alternate F11. I will show you that now. Okay, when we click the button, next, when we click the button, the the, uh, the button, the click is the event that we're trapping. And process cells here is the process cells and we're going ahead and saying okay well the date the start date i'm going to break point here to see so you can we can kind of i can kind of guide you through this let's see not that this matters but let's see i'm gonna delete all this stuff anyway and i click process sheet date start right now it's doesn't have anything but the variable is going to be a date variable so we're it's it starts out and initializes as 12 a.m because we haven't told it anything different so when we do and that's to properly we to properly evaluate these dates 
we want to put them in date variables so instead of a string because uh, because of a, a string variable it doesn't evaluate a date correctly in, in a, a lot of cases especially if you're trying to compare two dates because it's just like uh, trying to compare you know which is the last a or or L or L or M or one or two or yeah, it, it's it, it didn't you, you want to sort if you want to sort names or let's say a month you want to sort months okay uh, that's a better example so we have January comes first but uh, we're not sort if we sort if we sort alphabetically we're gonna sort uh, April comes first and what comes after April A B C D D December uh, E F G H I J July instead of January so we sort by the first month of the year which is uh, January uh, February March one two three so we sort by those so anyway um, my advice is make the make sure these are they just it just looks better as well okay so we have we're sticking sticking them in the box they're intended for instead of putting a a happy meal in a burger king box okay doesn't make any sense so here i'm looking at the destination row I'm evaluating the the first that's where I'm going to put the values on the on the July worksheet and then the last row is going to be the 1400 so I'm using a for loop and I'm saying okay from two to two to the last row date to evaluate okay so first I'm going to evaluate this 711 and that's the first value on my sheet here I'm going down through this whole column evaluating each one and it's a, it's a lot quicker than trying to do it by hand okay use, use code if my date to evaluate is less than the date start and it's in between these two dates date to evaluate is less than or equal to date end then if it is that then copy it okay was well, not so it's not copying it and so i'm gonna go ahead and, and fast forward by clicking the the f5 key here. and so that i'm taking the the cells the cell value now watch this you should put the marching ants around it okay marching ants and so this data this whole row I'm saying okay we'll take the whole row and copy it select select copy and then go ahead and get the July worksheet and select the value and now go ahead and paste it and then go ahead and and I'm doing this logically. I'm going through each and every row. Okay. And now I'm going to be done with this. And I'm, I end up the code with a big message box saying I'm done. Message box complete. You don't really need to have this, but I always like to put this in here just so that I know that my code is done kind of indicator because I'll be sitting here twiddling my thumbs and I'll say uh, is it really finished I don't really know so so that's that's about all again you can get the full code at vbastring.com this is a quick way it shows for the for loop and it loops your cells and I hope you got value from this video until the next time this is Eric with VA strings signing off